Hello my friends, it's John here with the God is Real channel. Uh, welcome if you're new and welcome back uh, if you're not. And you know, once in a while I do like to say just thank you to everyone that, that leaves a comment or, or does a thumbs up or anyone that sows a, a seed. You know, I just appreciate you as, as I often, uh, you know, say or type in without you, there is no channel. Okay, so right into the word. Um, okay, so this is like, uh, wow. Sometimes it's tough to tell if I'm half awake, if I'm sleeping, you know, but whether I call it a dream or a vision. I'm in bed the other day and I see, it was almost like on a cell phone, like a notification. And it said, I saw the words ancestry and pain. And, uh, you know, so I immediately start talking to the Lord in, in my mind. And, you know, this again, this isn't a word for, for, for every, everyone, but somebody's going to relate to this. So the first thing I started thinking about were, were generational curses. You know when, when you hear the word ancestry and uh, so apparently this this is just something that, that that God once addressed and and you know what I was thinking about was um, there's there's always breakthroughs you know so so have hope that for example think of a, a family that said uh, I'm not even gonna name a specific o occupation let's just say having an occupation or career that's XYZ, you know, people that are just proud parents saying, well, this is the first uh, XYZ in, in the family, you know, so th things can happen. But um, as I'm conversing with the Lord in my mind, then, you know, of course the word pain. So I start thinking about things relating to health. Now, you know, praise the Lord. He just keeps it interesting because like he knows that I'm thinking, you know, Lord, like what, what would you have me say about that? And then I actually, um, well, wow, that's still a small voice. I hear that, like the phrase, the buck stops here. And, you know, that phrase can be used in different ways, but, but the way it came to me, like as, as if to say firmly, enough is enough, that's it. Um, so, you know, it, it's not something that I will say I'm like extremely well versed in, but, you know, you, you've probably heard pastors or even other videos, people talking about, you know, generational curses. Oh, and that reminds me, because somewhere in the midst of all of this, and I don't remember how it was said exactly, but something to the effect of different bondages being broken. And I just remember thinking plural, not singular. So, you know, God's will for, for you watching this, if there's, you know, if you're in any kind of bondage, and especially as relates to maybe something that's just been passed down from generation to generation for reasons that we can't even understand. Maybe some of you do know some things um, that God spoke to you, you know, when you were in, in, in the spirit. But, but, you know, it's his desire that, 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 you're, that you're free. Um, but, yeah, to hear the buck stops here, like somebody needs to just take a, a strong stance. And, and you know, it, like as an example, what comes to mind right now, if somebody's parents or grandparents, that they, they had, you know, diabetes or, or this, you know, this disease or something in a family, that, that doesn't mean, it doesn't matter what the doctor might pr project or, you know, what might seem natural. Because if you're claiming the word of God, you know, like the scripture, he had faith to be made well. And, and uh, you know, I think I did a video of this. One time I was in this very room praying and, and you know, I heard the first part of the scripture, beloved, above all things, I wish that, that you will prosper and be in good health. So I'm focusing on the health right now, even as your soul prospers. So just know this is God's intention for you. Reach out to it, you know, grab it with an iron grip and, and, and you know, just claim it, thank him for it. And, and I'll just say right now, in Jesus Christ's name, any, any bondage, any, any uh, generational curse or, or just something that relating to generations in the past, you know, just let it be broken. If it's anything wicked, any witchcraft, anything from the enemy, I, I just say let it be broken. Even now, even today, in Jesus Christ's name. And we thank you, Lord, for, for your word. And, and just stand and just move behind it as your people just pray about it, claim it, and, and thank you for it. That's it, friends. Thanks for being with me, and uh, God willing, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.